Good news, everybody. It's Matthew here with another episode of Let's Play Guild Wars 2. Guess what? More new content! So it's the 29th. It's the Dragon's Reach. So I have the little indicator here showing me, ooh, new content. So a couple of the things I do want to go over first off is they have offered a couple of new items in the gem store. Uh, supposedly, where is it at? Toys. Probably not toys. It's probably a... Well, I know there's the new home portal stone. And this is 900 gems, which pisses me off. That means I had to spend $20 to buy gems in order to get this. Arena Net, you screwed up. Now, don't get me wrong, I still bought it. But I know a lot of people won't. I mean... If it was 800 gems, it's a little bit easier. I was only expecting, I'm like, oh, that sounds really cool. I'm going to buy that. It's probably only 800 gems. No, it's 900. They're kind of screwed the pooch, so to speak, on that one. I don't think as many people are going to buy that item because of this. Anyway, so I bought one of those. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of other updates other than the new content, of course. So, I, I got the item. It's right here. Let's take it, and let's see what it does. Double click to be transported to your home in your racial city. Double click while you're home to return to where you have entered from. Wow, that was fast and awesome. Didn't charge me any gold to ooh, teleport me in there. Now see, that's a nice little option. Didn't charge me gold. That's like one of the things I dislike about the uh, copper fed salvage nomadic. Okay, yes, it's very nice. It's three copper per use. But the problem with it, honestly, is not that. It's it's three it's three copper. It should be like two copper or one copper or something, or three, since I'm paying cash money for it. Honestly. It's the way I see it. But you know how those things go. So my home instance, I have added a few. I added the trees thing here to chop them down. Might as well. I don't like that they give you the aspen, which is kind of stupid. I mean, who's going to use green wood? Unless you're starting out, it's not important. Unless they're going to do something later on, which might be interesting. Because I do know they're supposed to be doing new uh, crafting for... I'm told they can. you can craft... Uh, Ascended, uh, not ascended gear. Well, you can already craft ascended gear, but you should be able to craft precursors. That's something that they want to do. So I think that's a great idea because precursors are incredibly hard to get, incredibly expensive. I mean, the one I want to get. Let's see here. Let's take a look. I think it's frostfang. To the frostfang. I mean, frostfang is. But 3,200 gold. Tooth of Frost Ring is still 87, uh, 870 gold. That's a lot. Who can make that kind of money unless you're just chugging along the whole time, you know? Unless you're you're one of those crazy farming people who spend like eight hours a day farming, making gold. I don't see how this stuff happens. I mean, honestly, farming is kind of boring. I don't even like doing what little bit I do do. Um... It's, yes, it's cheaper than paying gold, but, yeah, so, oh, new things I do have. Oh, there was one other thing I needed to get today, which I guess I am glad I did spend the $20 on the gems, because what I need to get is an upgrade extractor. Boost. What is that at? Services? Special? Upgrade instructor. I got 700 gems. Complete. I will need a couple of these. I should probably buy another one just so I have it. So take all, take all. Because what I need to do is... Hi. Let's see equipment. So 
So I do have my Ascended gear right there, which I just equipped. Yes, I'm still using the same armor skin because I love this armor skin. I really do. And where is that item? There it is. And I want my trooper... Rune there. Nice gear. Because they don't let you. Probably because when I got this stuff, I probably got it from somewhere else. I think it was a P versus P thing. So it won't let me salvage anything out of it. So I'm kind of screwed in that way. But I could probably. S I probably can't even sell it either. I can only destroy it, which is kind of sad. But. Uh, let's uh, see here. Craft survive. So I want to put it on there, upgrade. So now I've got that. And I need to put an infusion slot on it too. I've been putting vitality on them all. Ooh, no, okay. Vitality, vitality, vitality. So I just got to do the leggings and the feet. And that's going to be take a while because it's so hard to get silk for these friggin' things. And linen, linen is really hard to get too. It's so expensive. But anyways, let's actually start this. View this in the journal. Play this episode. Check your mail. Okay, so the pale tree will see us now. Oh, what's that? No, that's something else. Um, the pale tree has agreed to an audience, but she wishes to speak to you personally. I'm already in the grove waiting for you there. Okay. So, what do we need to do? Uh, pale tree, right here. I think that's right. Right there, pale upper comments. Alright, so we're at the pale tree. Let's see here. What do we got to do? Probably got to go up. I don't know. There's a bunch of people around here, so I'm assuming yes, up. Uh, yes. Oh, just right here. Enter the instance. So let's enter this instance here. Not even in it. What the hell? That's pretty bad. Okay. Well, wait here so you can talk to the pale tree in private. Oh, Marjorie sends her regards, by the way. So you saw her? Yeah, she's okay. I missed the funeral, but I got to spend a little time with her. She'll be back with us soon. I'll be glad to hear that. Okay. It's kind of scary, you know? I heard from Tiny. She's gone back to Radisum. Apparently, she was schooling to catch up on the little Vanaga bond. Vanna bond. I'm glad she'll be safer there. Thanks for coming. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss this for the world. We don't have talking trees where I come from. I'll let you know what she says. It's kind of... almost sounds bad to say that. Hi, how are you feeling? Any residual gunk left over after Allmont's device got its sparks in you? Nothing physical. Just worried about the more of that Mord me. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Mordrimoth. Mordrimoth situation. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can say it now. Mordrimoth. 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 Okay, it's not calling my Whatever. Uh, let's hope that you can bring this help. Ugh, god, I can't talk today. Me too. Here's hoping that being this being can help us. If she's as powerful and as wise as you say, then your decision with her will be interesting. Very true. I don't know, maybe the writing on this just doesn't flow well for me, because I've never really had problems reading or writing and things like that. Hello, Casimir. But... I've been hearing a lot about you. You're the one who unveiled the Nightmare Tower, aren't you? That was a team effort. I wouldn't have made it out alive without my friends. Especially this one here. Hey, hello. I heard you fought Zaitan beside Kaith. It's an honor to meet you. Our beloved mother is ready to see you. If you would follow me. Because it's not the first time I've met her. Avatar of the tree. <clears throat> it's not really the pale tree. What a delight to see you. Please, allow me to present your guest. Destroyer of Zaitan and Commander of the Pact. I am eager to hear what it is you wish to discuss. 
I know you. You were here with Tahern, and you accompanied him on his vision of the pack's future. Matthew Mupernak, it's good to see you looking so well. And you, lovely as always. Kate has spoken of your name to me and her tales of Zaitan's demise. You run with Destiny's Edge. I did for a while. Now I lead a new group. Yes, yeah, so it is said. I suspect you will do even greater deeds with them, but tell me, what brings you here seeking my counsel? First thing... Two things. First, I had a vision you figured prominently in it. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. What was it about? Where did you have this vision? In a certain device, Scarlet used to see the eternal alchemy. I saw it, too. What dangers have you been toying with? Such things were not meant to be seen. They will crack your mind. I didn't understand much of the vision, but you are at the center. If this was the device that Sarah used, then it must have maintained some of her touch upon it. But I do not know what it could mean. Only you could know that. Maybe in time. What about Mordrimoth? Mordrimoth. You know it's been act- I still can't say it! It is true. The Elder Dragon Mordrimoth has reached full awareness. No. I've known since the moment we heard the roar. Lokin, would you kindly find Nyam and ask her to come to speak with me? Of course. I'll return with her as quickly as I can. Interesting. I had to send him away. What we have to discuss is too serious. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Tell me, what do you know about Mordrimoth? Mordrimoth. Please, Matthew Mupiran, tell me what you know of Mordrimoth's activities. I've been want waiting to see how it would make its move while reinforcing our security here in the Crow. It's been killing people. It attacked Fort Salma and Concordia. And its minions, they've spread far. I've count. We've encountered them to the. F Ugh, God, we've encountered them far to the east and west, as close as Brisbane wildlands. So soon and so close, that does not bode well. Please continue. Salma and Concordia were destroyed by giant thorn vines. This is troubling news. There's more. The minions are attracted to waypoints. They destroy them. I understand the situation is dire. If the Elder Dragon's reach is that great, the entirety of Tyria is at risk. What do you recommend we do? We need to inform the world's leaders and get them to join the ranks. I see a summit then. I could host such a gathering. If you can convince them to come, who do you plan to invite? Queen Jenna, of course, a leader from each of the other races. I'll leave it in your hands then while I prepare, prepare here. God, I cannot talk today. You did the right thing bringing this to me. I'm happy to help you. My friends and I will do whatever we must to get them all here. Okay, now let's regroup with my companions because that's what it wants me to do. That seemed to go well. She agreed. What do we do now? Get the world leaders here. And with her name on the summit, they might just come, but who and how? We split up, get whoever you can, the highest ranking in your home city. And we're going to get someone from Divinity's Reach, the Queen. And Rox is going back to the Black Civil. And Bram will go to Holenbach. I will help you all. We can do it together. It's a comfort. Oh, thanks. All right, we can do this. Yes, we can. I won't get an audience with the Queen, but I can speak with Countess Anise. Nervous? I know you've had uh, issues with your people. No, I'm fine. I just haven't had to speak with Countess Anise or the Queen for a while. Not since my father. I suppose I'll have to toughen up and talk to Tribune Brimstone. I won't get anywhere near Smoter. Yeah, and I'll have to return to Holbrook. Last time I saw White Bear, my mother was there. We can do this. It's important. And afterward, we'll meet up again. Not every battle is fun, I suppose. Before I head to Holbrek, I should find Taimi. She's in Rada soon. Maybe she can talk to Zoja about getting an Asuran leader at the summit. But in their mind, she's just a student. No one there pays much attention to her. I know, but she's got Zoja's ear. And it's worth a shot. If she fails, we'll send in the boss to convince Zoja. They're friends. Well, we have everything covered. Send word to each other when things are squared away, yes? Deal. 
Guess all we have to hope for is that everyone agrees to show up. Once we get them in one place, we can worry about convincing them to join forces. The world coming together in support of a single cause? Yeah, that'll happen. For Actually, oh, I Fox. want to... Please. Turn down my music. Here. I, you've received a note from Tiny Mortemouth's Breach. Read the note. Hello, there's certain news updates saying that the vines matching the recent attacks at Fort Pancardia and Fort Selma have appeared in the Iron Marches. Oh. If this proves true, Mordenmoth's reach may be even greater than anticipated. I surmise that it's in our best interest for you to investigate these reports. I'll better let the others know about this. A lot of standing around and talking. Was that a letter from Marjorie? No, sorry, from Tiny. They've spotted Mordema. They've spotted Mordrim in the... Okay, they did not say that. Mordrim Moth. In the Iron Marches area. Iron Marches? Sorry to butt in. Did she mention the Black Citadel? Have they been hit? She didn't say more than that, but I'm going to investigate. That's a good idea. The more information they have, the better. I'll head to Divinity's Reach and request an audience with Countess Anise. Good luck. Meet me at the Ley Line Hub after you speak with the Countess. I'll come as soon as I know something. Great, thanks, Kismir. Okay, so that's that. Ooh, Imperial Fragments. You can never have too much treasure. Okay, so now we gotta go do this. So, we're gonna do this part. Which means I've got to... Refreshing. Sure. Iron Marches, right here. To Monger Sink. Alright, so we made it here, and I am debating right now because my previous episode was about 17 minutes long. Hey, watch it. And I try to keep my episodes to 20 minutes, so I am going to end this episode here, and then I'll start the new one immediately. However, before I do that, I do want to mention, even though I was complaining earlier about the... The home portal stone. This thing is still actually awesome. Because I have all that stuff in my home instance. And I never want to go collect it. I never want to go mine it. and never want to do all that stuff. Why? Honestly, because it takes some time away. But if I just have a simple click like this, this thing is a great idea. They should have did this a long time ago. But they should have done it for 800 gold instead of 9. Again, I'm complaining about it. But, you know, you know how it is. It's just what you do. It's what you say. Uh, and there are, there is one other update. Uh, last time we talked about the new weapons that they had created using the bug fossils. Uh, or fossilized amber. They said that there was a new way of getting them. Alright, what it is, it's sandy bags of gear. Uh, as you can see... This is a dusty bag, so that doesn't help. So, what we need to do is... I'm going to travel up to Dry Top. Because that's got to be where it's at. God, that's a far... God, that's really far out here. Didn't even realize it. Alright, so I'm going to go right here. and I'm hoping this is it. And you need geodes to do it to get this because I want to get this part too. I want to get this first because I can do this with only a little bit of time here. So Oh boy, this is taking forever. I would have assumed that Scarlet Okay, so what we need to do is Find this collector, I believe. So, I think, no, I gotta go this way, I believe. So oh, it's not right. For half a year. And then another right in brings here. down the Zephyrite ship right next to her former. I wanna know what? Yeah, yeah, up this way. When the sandstorm hits, it's so hard to tell where you need to go. Plus, I'm not good with maps and directions in general, so... Ouchies! But anyways, 
there is a collector. So there is the guy for the fossilized insects. I found a fossilized insect. Three sandy bags of gear. So we need three sandy bags of gear. Um, and I believe this character Gleam can give us one. Let me see your wares. Sandy bag of gear. Okay. So I can get, I can get three of them. Bye, bye, and bye. Which is awesome. <clears throat> Oh, there it is. Got a little turned around. Do you require my assistance? Oh, did I read this wrong? Oh, no. Until next time. Sandy bags of gear. Those are sandy. Hold on. Alrighty, so I don't know what's going on here. They said they collect it for. Do you require my assistance? These. And I don't see them. Or maybe she trades them for one of those. That's gotta Thank be you. it. Uh, or they screwed it up. Which is quite possible too. It might just be. We hope for brighter days. Let me see your wares. Now is all we have, and it's enough. Let's sell this junk too while I'm here. That's sandy bags of gear. That's ugh. I guess the wiki is wrong on this. It's. Sandy bags of gear. Sandy bags of gear. See? Found a fossilized insect. Three sandy bags of gear. So if you get an unfossilized insect, you get that. Well, that doesn't help me. Maybe it hasn't been updated yet. Oh well. So that's disappointing, because I really wanted to get one of those. It would have been cool. But I really do have to spend more time in here trying to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Buried locked chest. So I can at least get this. Nothing. They do give you a lot of Imperial fragments. I need to start doing those. I'm not going to open that yet, though not going to open those. I am going to wait and see if it is just a problem. Anyways, I'm going to call this episode done actually now. We'll continue with the rest of the story over in Iron Marches. But until then, see you guys. You can find me online on YouTube at youtube.com slash user slash MatthewMewP. On Twitter at twitter.com slash MatthewMew. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash Mathemu. If you want to play with me or join my guild, contact me via PM in the game at Mathemu Pernick, M-A-T-T-H-A-M-E-W-P-E-R-N-A-C-K. And for more information on my guild, it can be found at theravenscall.info.